Hi, my name's Melissa Nast, and I want to share with you some basics of Ready Rosie. So we'll start with how to get logged in to Ready Rosie. So educators, administrators, parents all get logged in the same way. It's by going to uh, readyrosie.com. And now this will only work once you have an account. So um, if you know if your parents have not accepted the invitation, this is not going to work. Um, and if you as an educator have not been uploaded into our system by Ready Rosie, this is not going to work. But once you have an account, readyrosie.com, click sign in. For you as an educator, your uh, username is going to be that work email address. The very first time you use Ready Rosie as an educator, you can create your own password. And that will be your password from then on. Now, parents make their password when they accept that invitation. If you forget your password, there is a reset set password button or uh, one of my favorite little secrets, forgot your login info. Um, if you forget your login information, you can click that. It's gonna ask that email address, enter that work email address. And what it's gonna do is it's gonna send you what I call a magic login link to your email address and all you have to do is click that magic link and you can log in without a password so quick tip uh, for getting logged in so I've already got my information saved I'm going to click sign in now I've got multiple levels of um, access if you have more than one level of access so perhaps you have um, district access you know as an administrator or maybe you have um, school access as a principal, but then you also have teacher access. You can toggle back and forth between those types of access by clicking on your name. Uh, that's also where you'll see that profile button if you want to change the spelling of your name or um, anything that might be misspelled, you can take care of that under the profile. I'm going to go to teacher access because Teacher access, whether you're a family service worker or a Title I coach or whatever you might be, um, you must have what we call teacher access in order to invite families. So um, even if you're, you know, like I said, a family service worker or a Title I coach, you would have to have what we call teacher access in order to invite families and make custom playlists. So start with, um, the resource tab. I'm gonna start with the resource tab um, just because that's where you'll find a lot of important information. And really, before you even start inviting families, you need to let families know what Ready Rosie is. So <clears throat> when you click on that resource tab, the very first thing you see is introducing families to Ready Rosie. It's a lot of great information here um, for you. Some posters you can uh, make copies of and hang up around your school or Head Start Center. Some flyers you can make copies of to send home to your family. So let me just show you real quick what those invitation flyers look like. Uh, there's two different versions. One uh, is just a simple flyer that also has a portion for families to enter their cell phone or email address. That is information you'll need to invite them. So if you don't already have that as part of one of your uh, data management system, um, you'll need to collect that from them. But my favorite flyer is this one called the uh, registration flyer. Notice it's in both languages. Let me show it to you real quick. Um, it's a two-sided flyer, so keep that in mind. But at the top, it explains briefly what Ready Rosie is. Below that, it tells parents how to use the resource. It tells them they're gonna watch the video, do the activity with their child. They're gonna click the We Did It button to let you know they did the activity and they can comment on the video to share with you how the activity went. For example, Maria could um, easily identify the numbers zero through seven. We'll keep working on the rest. And they can do a thumbs up or a thumbs down or save it to their favorites. On the back side, it tells them to look for that invitation. It explains to them how to um, accept the invitation. So I'm about to show you how to invite families, but this is what that acceptance looks like. They'll get a message from you, either a text or an email address, asking them to join Ready Rosie. Um, and then it'll say, uh, would you like the message in English or Spanish? Would you, um, what is your first and last name, parent or caregiver? 
Do you want the messages by text or email? What password would you like? And here's a little video to welcome you. So it's very simple for families to, to accept the invitation, but I do like this, the visual of this flyer. So also um, back to that resource tab under inviting families, right below that, um, there's a, a little PowerPoint and facilitator guide called Introducing Ready Rosie. It's meant to be 10 minutes. So this will be a great introduction if you have an open house or a meet the teacher night or your first family workshop if you're a Head Start. Just a great 10 minute introduction to families to introduce them to Ready Rosie. And again, there's the PowerPoint, English or Spanish, as well as that facilitator guide for you to follow along. So back to that resource tab, I'm gonna click on that again. There's a lot of information here for you. I'm not gonna take the time to go through it all um, in this short webinar, but um, celebrating success. I love the flyers that we have in here. Um, it's not the flyer certificate. So if you wanna celebrate an accomplishment of your families, it's an inexpensive way to celebrate uh, simple things like um, congratulations, and you put their name here, and then you fill in their accomplishment. Uh, congratulations, Melissa Nast, you watched 10 videos. Or congratulations, um, Jason Horton, you um, uh, accepted your invitation, or whatever you want it to be. It's a great opportunity to recognize the achievements of your family. We always say, um, you know, um, recognition goes a long way. Um, families like to be recognized for their efforts, whether it's um, a bulletin board at the front of your school where you recognize the families that have accepted their invitation um, with their picture of them and their child or a, a certificate you're sending home to them. Or maybe uh, you want to celebrate them with something from our store. So maybe you want to um, purchase um, some buttons or a t-shirt or some conversation cards or stickers. So. Um, that's there as well, an opportunity for you to celebrate them with some items you can purchase from our Ready Rosie store. Back in that resource tab, very important, especially if you're a Head Start, uh, our family workshops. Um, these are some workshops for those parent meetings. Again, a Head Start is very important as you're using Ready Rosie for your parenting curriculum that you have these face-to-face -face interactions with your families. Um, you're hosting those um, parent meetings. We have seven workshops for you. Again, everything you need to facilitate them is there. You just click on it, you'll see the PowerPoint, the facilitator guide, flyers, you can edit to advertise, surveys, um, everything you need to successfully implement and host and facilitate a family workshop. Maybe you don't have a full hour, maybe you only have 10 minutes. Um, we're gonna be adding these 10 minute uh, family workshops as well throughout the year. And um, you'll see most of them say coming soon. However, uh, we already have a couple. I talked about the one introducing families. And we also have one called Ready for Kindergarten. Um, that's especially important if you're a Title I um, uh, pre-K and that transition to kindergarten in the springtime or even for your Head Start families. It's a great workshop. There's that 10 minute version as well as an hour long version of that kindergarten transition workshop. Finally, um, in that resource tab, we've added some additional tools and resources this year, uh, things such as parent-teacher conference materials. Um, if you're hosting a family event, maybe a family night, a literacy night, a math night, we've got some supports for you there. This is where you can find all those existing touch points you already have with families. Think, how can you integrate Ready Rosie with that? And then finally, curriculum maps and alignments. Um, again, great place to check that those out, especially if you're doing custom playlists. So now let's move on to classrooms. This will be your first step to inviting families is to begin by creating a classroom. So um, I clicked on the classroom tab. I can see the little ready rosy thing is spinning, so it's thinking. Um, sometimes we have to be a little patient. Um, Start by adding a new class. Now you can see I've got multiple classes. Um, if you are a previous Ready Rosie user from last year, we ask that you delete your classroom from last year. So real quickly, um, you simply click the delete button from your last year class. It says, are you sure? And you say, okay. So 
Uh, if you are a Ready Rosie user from last year, please take just a few seconds to delete that classroom and then you'll get a little notification that says classroom was successfully deleted. So again, previous year users, please delete last year's classroom. Why? We want the cleanest possible data uh, for your administrator. Now, don't worry, those families are still in the system. Um, it just allows them to be pulled into some different classrooms. Now, let's start by making a new class. Now, you can make as many classes as you need to. Um, I'm just gonna call this test two. Um, so if I'm a family service worker and I have a caseload of four classrooms, I can make four classrooms. Um, if I'm a kindergarten teacher and I have an AM and a PM class, I can make two classrooms. Whatever you need to do, it's customized. Choose your age level. I'll go ahead and just choose pre-K. Uh, you can give it a fun color if you like. And then make sure you click the blue Create Classroom. Once you create your classroom, you're ready to start adding families. Now, um, there is a button here that says Add Students. Um, it's right here. If you're familiar with Ready Rosie from last year, this looks slightly different than last year. Um, our platform's updated a little bit. Click the button that says Add Students. And now you're ready to start adding your students. Simply child's first name, child's last name, parent email, and or parent mobile phone number. You don't need both, you just need one or the other. Please do not leave it blank though. Um, it, they will not get an invitation if you leave that information blank and it's difficult to go back and add later. It's a little tricky, it can be done, but please just get that information ahead of time before adding your students. Now, once you've added those students, you're ready to send those invitations. So I can schedule it to go out at a later time. Remember that important first step is to tell your families about Ready Rosie. You don't tell them what Ready Rosie is and they get an invitation and they have no clue what it is, they're going to delete it. So please let them know about Ready Rosie and then schedule that invitation to go out. Or if I've already told them about it, I can click the little down arrow and I can click invite now and get them invited immediately. So schedule it or invite them later, um, or invite them right now. Once I have a classroom created, so I'm gonna go back to my classroom tab and show you what that classroom looks like. Again, it's thinking. I always like to point out when the system's thinking because sometimes when we're adding students or doing something else on the platform and we think maybe we didn't click send and we click it multiple times, then you end up with uh, duplicates, which you probably don't want. So let me show you what um, uh, what your classroom looks like once you've got those, uh, those, those families added. Um, I'm gonna click on one of my classrooms um, and then I'm able to see uh, I've got 15 students um, with five caregivers. So that means some of those caregivers have multiple students connected to them. I've got seven pending invitations. I can resend all of those pending invitations by click resend pending invitations. So um, I'm able to click that button and I can resend uh, those pending invitations. So Mr. Horton, I can see this is his email address. Um, maybe he says, oh, that's my wrong email address. I can click resend. Um, I can, you know, edit that and then, you know, invite him again. But notice there's a little checkbox here. So I can resend all those that I've checked. I can resend them all at one time. So that's a new feature. Um, if you're familiar with Ready Rosie, the ability to resend all of them at once. We got that request. Uh, we were able to um, get that made for you. So um, make sure that you, um, um, Check that out. So I'm going to pretend that I only need to resend um, that one so I'm just, and check some of these just because I don't want to resend to some of these people. Um, and I'll resend the ones that are selected. And so now that's been resent. Um, now I can go in and I can see if there's some still pendings by the ones. Um, and I can see if they're connected because they'll have a, a you know, caregiver connected to them. Let me go back to that classroom um, view again, because this parent 
which is me, <laughs> has not watched any videos. Um, bad parent. Um, so let me go to a different classroom. Let me go to my terrific team over here and, and point out a couple of things. Uh, first, I want to point out that you can assign teachers to your classroom. So let's say you are a Head Start family service worker and you are creating four different classrooms. You can share that classroom with that classroom teacher. All you have to do is click assign a teacher, select that teacher from the drop down, and then you can share your classroom with them. Why? You can both see the data. You can both create custom playlists. You can share that classroom together. Um, same thing is true, um, you know, opposite. The classroom teacher wants to create the classroom and share it with someone. Um, so just know you can share classrooms. Uh, it's one person creates it and they can share it with another. Now I'm gonna show you some enhanced data views. Uh, I'll choose um, one of our consultants, Kathy Hawley here as an example. Um, but once your families start watching videos, you're able to see some interesting information. And you're able to see not only how many videos they've watched. So for example, Kathy Hawley has watched 168 videos. Uh, those videos she watched exposed her to 464 learning outcome opportunities and 465 family outcome opportunities. What does that mean? Well, uh, if you're familiar with Ready Rosie, you know that almost of all of our videos are connected to multiple um, learning opportunities. For example, uh, there's a video called Leapfrog Measure. Well, it's measurement, uh, but they're also counting and they're cost also estimating. So three different learning outcomes that that um, parent is exposed to um, as a result of watching that video. And then again, when they're playing that game with that child, that child is being exposed to those learning outcomes. Starts with a little pie chart where you can see, um, for example, how many health and well-being videos do they watch, how many language and literacy and so forth, how many of those learning outcomes were they exposed to. But then when you, when you scroll down, you can click on language and literacy, for example, and you get this expanded uh, menu below. So 55 videos um, around listening and speaking with outcomes of listening and speaking or 17 uh, outcomes around uh, vocabulary. On the right hand side, you'll see those um, family outcomes. That came from that PFCE. Um, so you'll see things like, um, you know, how many videos supported family well-being or positive parent-child relationships. Again, most of our videos connect to one or two or more of those. And then if I scroll down, I can see some recent activity of that parent. It shows the last 20 things that parent has done. I can see the last time that parent watched that video, how many times they've watched it, if they liked it, disliked it, if they did it, if they commented on it, how many learning outcomes were connected to that video, how many family outcomes. Um, I can even see, for example, if they've commented on it, I can read it right here. Now, another place I can read those comments, of course, is up here in this mailbox, um, this little envelope at the top. If a parent comments on a video, I get a little notification up there. Um, and so, for example, I can read their comments. We'll look at Rhonda Bailey here. Um, she said, we loved this, and I can comment right back and send her a message right here. Um, and again, that message will be just communication between that parent and teacher or that parent and family service worker. So all of that is in that classroom tab. Again, just to recap, that's where you create your classrooms. That's where you invite your families. That's where you can share a classroom with another teacher. That's where you can resend those pending invitations. And it's also where you can see that enhanced data of your families. Now, once you get your families invited and they accept that invitation, they're going to start getting a playlist of videos from Ready Rosie. If you're curious what that playlist looks like, um, I can go to schedule. And I can see what Ready Rosie is going to be sending out uh, in the next few weeks. I go over here to upcoming Ready Rosie playlist. And so, for example, on Monday of next week for pre-K, I'll use that as an example. 
uh, Ready Rosie is going to be sending to our pre-K users a playlist called What is the Most Important Word in Your Child's Life? Notice there's, uh, looks like four activities, some pre-K activities, a toddler slash pre-K activity, and an infant uh, and toddler activity. Parents simply click on the video, and then they're able to watch the video and react to the video. That's where that thumbs up, thumbs down, the we did it button is. That's where they can comment on a video to their teacher. It's also where they can see some extensions. Now, I point this out, these extensions, because guess what? These are great extensions for you as an educator as well. Um, maybe um, journal slash talk, you want to do that as a, as a circle time, um, you know, writing down the story of a child's name. Um, those are great activities for you, too. These are vetted by um, educators, content writers on our team. So um, I always encourage educators to check that out as well. That's also where you're going to see that closed caption option. So we've got a few different language options. Of course, all of our videos are in English and Spanish, but we also have Vietnamese. Arabic and Dari um, in subtitles. So if your families, you know, if they could be uh, supported by any of those additional language options, they would just click their um, preferred language and then they can see subtitles um, in that as they watch the video. So that's what Ready Rosie's sending out. What about you? What if you want to send something out? Well, you can make your own playlist by clicking the tab that says playlist. So this is where you create and make your own playlist. So click add playlist. And you'll need to give that playlist a title. So maybe a measurement everywhere. A description message to your families. Uh, dear families. We are measuring everything this week. Try these two activities at home. Spelling's off, but that's okay. <laughs> and comment on them. Correct that spelling. Um, now I need to decide who this playlist is going to. Now, if I'm connected to multiple classrooms, I've created multiple classrooms or multiple classrooms have been shared with me, I can actually send that to as many people as I need to. Um, as many recipients as I want to can receive this custom playlist. Now I've got a title, a message, now I need some videos. I always start by filtering by age. So let's say this is a first grade um, classroom. I'm gonna choose first grade. I'm gonna type in measurement just for, to make it go a little quicker. Click the go button. And now I've got first grade measurement activities. Now, I could also have achieved the same thing by going to categories, math and reasoning, then measurement. Uh, I just like to use the search feature uh, for quicker uh, access. If I'd like to watch the video, I can click the little eye icon to watch the video. If I know I like it, I can go ahead and click it and the plus sign to um, add to my playlist for my families. So I'm going to add two videos. Now I'm going to do something very important, and that is translate this. Now. I just chose two English videos. Notice, families will receive playlist in their preferred language. That means if your family chose Spanish at that invitation process, these videos I just chose will come to them in Spanish. Ready Rosie takes care of that. You don't have to worry about it. What you need to do though is provide a translated message because of course Ready Rosie is not sure what you're gonna say. These are your custom words. And it says to click Espanol to the left. So right here to the left, I click Espanol. If you are bilingual, you would type that same message in Spanish. If you're not, like me, you can click Translate for me and Google Translate will help you out. Now, this could or could not be correct Spanish. <laughs> Google Translate 
is not always correct, but it's the best I can do. I've got a title. I've got a message. I've decided who the playlist is going to. Now I've added videos, translated, and I'm ready to send it out. I can come down here and save it and schedule it to go out. I can schedule it as far in advance as I want to. Maybe we're doing measurement the second six weeks. Um, I can schedule it to go out then. Um, or maybe I want it to go out today. I can click the down arrow and save and send now. We do encourage you to make custom playlists. We find that families typically watch videos um, that are customized from their, their teacher. So encourage you to do that and um, make those custom playlists. Families enjoy hearing from their, um, their teacher, that trusted source, and they typically watch more of those videos when it comes from you. Finally, just want to show you um, our library videos. Of course, your families have access to the, a library as well. If you've never looked at all the categories of videos we have, I encourage you to do that. Um, health and well-being, um, you know, creativity, executive functioning, routine, sign motor, gross motor, language and literacy, um, fluency, reading strategies, phonological awareness, um, math and reasoning, counting, cardinality, fractions, measurement, money, place value, research and answers. These are videos from experts, uh, experts like um, Dr. Becky Bailey or um, other experts in the field around things like challenging behaviors, discipline, literacy, responsive parenting, and finally, social and emotional learning videos, self-awareness, self-management, um, relationship skills. For you, the educator, we also have professional development videos in this tab here. Just like our model moment videos, these are short two minute videos. So I encourage you to check those out um, as well. So that's ready, Rosie. That's how to use those resources, um, create those classrooms and invite families, um, monitor those invitations, resend them if you need to, check that data, um, create those custom playlists. And we're looking forward to partnering with you this year. If you have any questions, you can contact us at support at readyrosie.com. Thank you.